And it's all engaged through a new steering wheel design, which we previewed on the curve in the Sierra at Auto Expo. And it's seen as the gateway, the electronic device for the driver to engage the UX and the UI. The main impression that you'll get when you see the interior of the Nexon.EV is the overall feeling of premiumness. Everything is small, everything is in the details and how all of these elements of all come together from Nexon. a material, from a proportional and Let's from an overall technical point of view. By inviting Mr. At Martin the same time, Al-Hadik, as I said, the, the Nexon is a very unique product. It has Motors multi-generational appeal. It applies to So hello, um, nice this. to see some of it you again after a couple of days kind of and some familiar faces. In terms of all the explaining safe, the design story SUV, behind the next being dynamic, being fashionable. First of all, sporty. we see this as a game-changing this design. Obviously, this is more is than an MCE. I think in the automotive this world, is an enhanced yeah, if you improvement think about a, on a very uh, successful a cell phone of today. It has a number of uh, functions. So it's a it big is, responsibility uh, for design to maintain the legacy and the success of what this product means. At the same time, to improve a digital it world. in all so aspects we see the, of the, the design. Nexon. EV if you think well, about the Nexon EV in its whole sort of lifespan, into the digital fundamentally, world. it was introduced so in 2017. So, if you think about this digitization, that can and be immediately as a white as a space product, it created design, a segment and a very design, comprehensive and, and successful UX product. And the UI. In 2020, we underwent a very significant phase of the first one, and where we emphasized the next generation nature and a leader. From an interior point of view, as I mentioned, really it's the engagement, the interface, the next TFT screens, product. and the overall and course, landscape the UX, UI, that will really give you that feeling that, that this is a next is generation a product. An and of course, with the UX UI, when you get into that the, into in itself is a, is a gateway is a into an ecosystem. Your life doesn't stop when you get into, your life the, into an Exxon.EV. It is a seamless, so harmonious segue, and your life doesn't stop when you're driving or you're a passenger. So as I mentioned, it is an the core character of a Nexon. The Nexon it, has it a, a very unique product, sort of place in the Indian market. With the original it is an concept. innovator. When, it, when we introduced time, it, right it was a white space production. product. We have obviously previewed it with the original concept. SUV and at the same space. time, right from the, the beginning of production, it has been seen product. as a leader in this four meter SUV space. Smaller at the same from a packaging time, point of view, product. they obviously offer more space to play and improve aerodynamic quality and other areas of the vehicle. From an interior point of view, the technology is really focused on the two screens, the TFT product, in the it's it's middle, which we're offering product. in a 12-inch package sort of on the EV, and of course the driver. All, at if the you same look at time, the exterior, there is an element of what makes it unique. It's a, it's a kind of contradiction if you think about it. The bottom half of the car is clearly a functional SUV. It's a four-meter footprint. And it has very strong wheel arches that communicate this capability, SUV-ness, and, and a strong the switches stance, are which, again, capacitive. communicates that and safety aspect. And it's all engaged aspect. through a the new steering wheel design, we which we previewed on the curve in the Sierra at Auto Expo. Made a much more prom- and it's seen as the gateway, the, the same time, electronic the device the for the driver to engage the UX and the UI. The and main impression that you'll have when you see the interior of the Nexon EV is the overall feeling of premium. At the same time, it doesn't everything is small, everything is in the details and how all of these elements are all together. And it does material from a proportional in terms of from a overall technical space. point of view. So again, it's a kind of contradiction. At the same time, as I said, the next one is a very unique design product in the market. It has multi-generational appeal. This it version applies to next one, the next one. So hello, um, um, nice to see some of you again after a couple really of days and some familiar, familiar faces. In terms of the explaining the design and story SUV. behind the next one. all blend together, the carryover parts as well as the new parts. So it looks like a holistic design. That's very key. So when you see the product, it looks like a completely new engaged product. So you can yeah. see these are the design sketches all that the designers blend together. created. The carryover There's a real parts difference. as well as the, the Nexon new parts. Has so it looks like a holistic end. design. The That's very key. Dominated so when you see the product, it looks like a completely and the, new it's really engaged product. So you can see these are the design sketches all blend together. The carryover parts as well as the new parts. So it looks like a holistic design. That's very key. So when you see the product, it looks like a completely new engaged product. It's really clearly the signature of the So you can see these are the design sketches all blend together. The carryover parts as well as the new parts. So it looks like a completely new engaged product. Vehicle itself, that as you're charging it, the pulse 
on the horizontal light guide that it combines with the DRL actually communicates where you are in your chart. So it has a functional element and it also has a communication element. Then the front bumper has been made more aerodynamic. That's dominated by this sort of winglet lower half of the bumper. And again, an improved aerodynamics and improved efficiency. Efficiency, efficiency is really the byword when it comes to uh, an EV product. So the front end immediately separates itself from the other portfolio. Going around the vehicle, like I said, the DRLs, it creates a very unique and signature and also a far more premium presence. At the same time, of course, we wanted to make the car look as wide as possible from a proportional point of view and at the same time really communicate that capability. So again, this iconic front end, you can see as in this zoom shot, really emphasizes the width and that blade on the lower half and again that premium premiumness. Going to the rear of the car, the X Factor has always been part of the Nexon brand signature. Whenever I would see a Nexon on the road, this trim piece would always communicate clearly which vehicle this is, but also emphasize a certain stance and real great proportion. So when we were doing this new version, we were asking ourselves, how do we take it to the next level? So we made the X Factor a digital light signature. This now is, makes it clearly obvious when you see it during the day and at the same time at the night that it's, you're following an Exxon. You don't have to see the badge, you don't have to see the, the, the name on, the, on the, the rear tailgate. So again, it's a, it's a real departure, but at the same time a clear evolution of the DNA of this product. When we went to the interior, we looked at, again, emphasizing the quality and raising the sort of overall capability of this vehicle. And premium perceived quality is really the, was the foundation of everything that we looked at. Even the radii on the, on the screen was made as sharp as possible, again, to communicate a consumer electronic language that people are used to in their daily lives. And of course, these digital touch points. As I mentioned, the new corporate steering wheel is really the, the, the game entry into, into a, a digital ecosystem. So for the driver, that's the, the, the rule of engagement in terms of all of the functions from a safety driving point of view, as well as to the infotainment. And then when it came to the HMI experience, we really created a curated uh, ecosystem and a landscape. So again, it's very harmonious in terms of from a functionality point of view, and at the same time, it looks the part of being an EV, and of course, with the dot .EV, it uh, as well has all the functions that communicate range and, and so forth. So this UX UI is com all configurable and built in into the vehicle. And of course, we've adopted a persona strategy. As you've seen a couple of days ago, we now have a persona strategy as part of the overall uh, trim level approach. So when we talk about the persona strategy, you know, we are offering a different persona for different customers. With the Nexon.EV, we're introducing a new persona, which is specific to not only the Nexon EV, but in general, all of our EV products going forward, and we call it Empowered. The Empowered customer is a very unique customer. They are the ones who want to be the first on the block to say, I'm a disruptor, I am driving an EV, and I want to communicate that. At the same time, it's a very premium interpretation of this persona. At the same time, we've also expanded this persona strategy toward the interior. So all UX, UI graphics and all the ecosystem within that reflect those personas. So they are unique to each persona. You can see the one in the center reflects the empowered and at the same time communicates all of the colors and the graphics that we have in that aspect. So the EV persona, the signature, is really underlined by the signature exterior. We call it Onyx, and it's actually a pearlescent white. We, again, we previewed that on the Sierra at Auto Expo, and it's a very premium uh, effect and color, which has a hint of green, depending on the hue and the light, and which way you're looking at it. Uh, this really, I think, takes the car to the next level in terms of its segment. And when you think about the EV persona, the materials on the interior and the overall graphics all communicate this empowered person. They really communicate somebody who is very conscious of sustainability, about being a responsible citizen, and also being a tech leader in the, in the, uh, in the automotive landscape and in this segment. 
So that is the story of the Nexon.ev. Um, I'm now going to hand over my uh, cursor to Anand, who will take you to the next level and also explain the technical side. Thank you, Martin. Good evening, everyone. So, I would say Martin is my partner in crime because whatever he tries to make sure that it comes off very, very well in the cars, the way that they look, it's our responsibility to make sure that we engineer it right. A few years back, we used to say that between design and engineering, there used to be a left brain and a right brain, the creative brain and the logical brain. Today, we are more like a hive mindset. We read each other and we know exactly what needs to be done. So we were trying to make sure that the engineering also follows the game changer theme that we need to bring in this car. The Nexon EV has been a fantastic car for a long time, and how do we enhance this? When you try and enhance this, what aspects would you need to incorporate in order to really try and take it to the next level? Which attributes which performance aspects would you need to look at in order to really enhance and bring it back to the level that it needs to be. So we looked at five key aspects in order to do this. And Martin has touched upon a few of them. I'll try and go in further details to help you understand what exactly has been done. First and foremost, when we look at EVs, we need to look at efficiency. So that's the first part. Performance, of course, a very important aspect. Safety has been a pillar with Tata Motors, and it continues to be a pillar for us going forward. There are new technologies coming in. Martin referred to some of them in terms of illumination, in terms of the new digital signature, the digitalization. And of course, over the last three, four years, we've been bringing a whole host of improvements in our manufacturing setup, which is sometimes taken for granted, but then there is a lot of work that's been going through that, and the Nexon.ev gains full benefit of all the work that has been done by our teams. So let me take you through some of these details. First and foremost, we have an all new motor. It's, it's a gen, new gen, gen two motor. It's a powerhouse EDU, electric drive unit, because not only is it lighter by 20 kilograms, and that you will realize, ladies and gentlemen, is a big compression in weight over what we had earlier, but it's also smaller package, enables us to have a very tight package, and it also has reduced our dependence on rare earth metals to an extent of almost 30%. And I'll take you through what the further details in terms of performance and its behavior is in subsequent slides. Efficiency on EVs cannot be altered, cannot be improved, unless you have algorithms for load management which run very, very efficiently. Now, on this car, we have a four-stage liquid pump operation. And liquid pump operation, you know we have liquid-cooled motors, liquid-cooled batteries, but now we are giving these pumps four stages of how to operate in order to make sure that they do not consume energy too much at the lower end, but they are also safe at the higher end of temperature band. We have a velocity-based fan speed strategy, again saving us some uh, very, very critical energy. And smart low-voltage battery charging or battery management, and this is a very critical aspect because how you charge the low voltage battery which then powers the whole host of other functional utilities is very, very critical. We've got some new efficient components. You've heard about IV back, which is the intelligent vacuum assist uh, booster on the cars. And we are the only car in the country today which uses this technology. Gives us the right sort of blending between service brakes and motor regeneration, and that supports up to about two to three percent of range improvements. Moreover, we've also now got a bigger compressor. And this bigger compressor means that 
we are able to not only have better comfort within the cabin, but also the entire duty cycle of this compressor is running at a lower RPM, which again translates to efficiency. It's a little counterintuitive, but it helps us improve efficiency significantly. Martin spoke about aerodynamics. It's a significant feature because not only are there wheel inserts, uh, which is, like I said, always the struggle between whether you want to have a design element or an engineering element, but these wheel inserts, ladies and gentlemen, help us save two counts on aerodynamics. Aero curtains and a re-engineered rear spoiler with a concealed rear wiper that gives us significant benefits. As a result of all this, Aero resistance over the car has reduced 13 counts, and that gives us an additional 2% range benefit. The losses on a car cannot be reduced unless you look at the tire to road interface, and therefore, this car has the lowest rolling resistance tires in the country today at 6.5 Newton per ton level whereas everything else is between 7 and 7.5 Newton per ton. Every 10% improvement in rolling losses is a 2% improvement in range, and therefore this is a significant achievement because tires are a safety aspect. You need to look at adhesion, traction, as well as the rolling losses, and that's what we've been able to achieve. More importantly, Martin spoke about the X factor, he spoke about the LEDs, he spoke about the uh, CPLs, the lighting elements on the car have therefore gone higher in order to bring that premium feel. And yet, because we have used LEDs in most places, we've been able to cut down on the total energy consumption on account of the lighting by almost 30%. And that again is a significant improvement. So what does this translate to? This translates to a range on the long range car, so we have two versions, the long range and the mid range, medium range. The long range car is now at 465 on the ARI cycle. The uh, medium range is at 325 on the ARI cycle. But more importantly, and I would like to emphasize that, the effort has not really been to chase the certified numbers. It should more be about chasing how we increase real life usage, real life range. So while you see, you will calculate that it's about a 3% improvement in range on certified, it translates to a 7.5% 7, 7 improvement in range in real life. And that's, I think, the true benefit of all the technologies that have gone into it. I will then come to the performance. Again, the new generation motor, some more details about this. This motor is capable of now going to 16,000 RPM from what it was at 12,000 RPM. Please understand that when 16,000 RPMs happen, the level of balance, the level of NVH has to be absolutely precisely controlled. So the level of componentry and the finishes on gears, mating gears, etc., have to be within very, very small and precise controls. It delivers 106.4 kilowatt power and a whopping 2,500 Newton meter at the wheels. Also, electric motors are known for their flat top curves. We've expanded this flattish top curve by a 750 RPM range, which means more uniform, more consistent torque right across the range. That's yielded us a faster sprint at 8.9 seconds. We've also increase the max speed to 150 kilometers now. And despite doing all this, the NVH behavior of the car, and you should be able to experience that tomorrow, it's flatter and it's lower. So it's a more refined, noise attenuated feel on the car. In terms of the performance, again, enhanced regeneration is a very, very important topic because not only have we given more convenience now, the new steering wheel uh, that Martin has designed also has paddle, paddle shifters incorporated into it, and therefore it becomes very, very easy and intuitive for us to operate the region controls, 
But more importantly, because of the new motor that we spoke about, the region levels on the car have been tweaked between 10 and 15 percent. The amount of energy that we can recover from the car through region at different levels is higher, which again aids in the efficiency. Charging equipment is always a topic of big debate for all EV owners. And therefore, now the medium range car also gets a 7.2 kilowatt charger. It's possible to charge faster. And moreover, we have integrated vehicle to load and vehicle to vehicle for better convenience and better flexibility. And I would request if you walk across the aisle here, there is a cafe which is being powered by the Nexon EV. So maybe we can enjoy a coffee there. Of course, uh, creature comforts like enhanced cabin comfort uh, through express cooling and auto defogger come as standard on the car. And then we come to safety, very, very critical. So I would like to separate or distinguish safety in three parts. It's active safety, passive safety, and because it's an electric vehicle, high voltage safety. So when we talk about active safety, we spoke about the IV back, so ABS and ESP come as standard across all cars. A 360 degrees surround view system with four plus four sensors, four cameras, four sensors, in order to give our customers, give the drivers a better spatial awareness, which is very, very critical for conditions of road traffic in our uh, country. Seatbelt reminders for all occupants, and more importantly, the front parking assist enabled through the sensors in the front, which help us in better parking. And a blind view mirror or a blind view monitor, which assists in identifying if there are any vehicles in the vicinity and uh, the, therefore the driver can take corrective action. In terms of passive safety, six airbags come as standard. Isofix provision on seats come as standard. And the reinforced body structure with high degree of strength, high strength steels for superior performance, there are two aspects, two key aspects that we have looked at. One is, in order to improve the crash performance, we look at synchronization of the LH and RH performance. We have not tried to, you know, save on that. We have synchronized this performance. But more importantly, with evolving global safety norms, side pole impact is becoming an extremely important thing, which for electric vehicles, because the battery is placed underneath, is a very important parameter. And this car has been now augmented for side pole crash as well. I come to now the high voltage safety. So we have the IP67 protected propulsion system, uh, which is a continuing of what we were doing in the past. But now uh, AIS 38 compliant battery and more, we do extra tests in order to be able to not only meet the AIS 038, but go beyond. More importantly, a ASIL C compliant EDU, which means more protection, more risk protection against error states, more risk protection against errant behavior, if at all and absolute safety in terms of how the entire torque delivery, power delivery, and unwanted behavior does not happen. And continuous telematic scanning in order to monitor critical parameters on battery as well as the high voltage electronics. A SOS function for uh, emergency call, breakdown call comes as standard now. And then a suit of these safety features, all disc brakes, Hill descent control, hill ascent control, panic brake alert. I think we are the only ones doing this in the country today because of customer feedback uh, that we had on how do you prevent following cars to close, not closing on the distance too much. I think this is a smart piece. Uh, auto vehicle hold and ITPMS. I'll now come to the game changing new technologies that we have incorporated within the car. We get a bi-directional charging capability with the chargers. Therefore, I spoke about vehicle to vehicle and vehicle to load. With vehicle to load, we can do loads up to 3.3 kVA. And with vehicle to vehicle charging capability, we can charge a, a compatible EV at 5 kilo, uh, kVA, but a non-compatible EV also at 3.3 kVA. So we have a, 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 a plug which can be inserted and a non-compatible EV can also be charged. 
intuitive and flexible HMI with super powerful processor for high performance audio visual experience and I, and I really recommend and suggest that you experience this assuming that you are charging the car tomorrow afternoon and having a view of the camera, having a view of the uh, screen and the entire experience is absolutely immersive. A 45% larger screen, which usually happens in two segments above, with high data information and visual definition, along with Arcade.tv. And Arcade.tv is an app where we have a app, suit of app, uh, in 20, uh, about 20 at the current time, but growing further. Intuitive and flexible HMI, uh, Martin has spoken about this, and we've now provided a nav view uh, on the instrument cluster and also four voice assistants, uh, typically used by people. The first one is Hey Tata, of course, Alexa, Hey Siri, and then OK Google. The in-cabin experience is enhanced with immersive sound experience through audio works. Four plus four plus one speakers, including an uh, external subwoofer, and of course, a very high degree of noise attenuation through absolute maintaining of the NVH parameters, starting with the motor, as well as with uh, proper insulation to make sure that there are fatigue-free drives. And then I come to the last part of what we've been doing in terms of our changing uh, the manufacturing capabilities, because this is something that we've been working on for the last three and a half years. We've focused on creating deep EV tech capabilities by a very high degree of localization. All our partners today are now localizing and making these components available to us through India. There is a significant amount of local design and development that's happening, uh, be it in terms of batteries, be it in terms of motors, be it in terms of electronics. And the EV ecosystem in terms of our supplier partners, people who are able to give us solutions is ever growing. And might I say therefore that we have the largest EV trained workforce in the country today. The manufacturing footprint is extremely efficient and versatile. We've introduced the entire car on the regular production, uh, on the re regular production line which is conveyorized so that we run at regular tack times and we are therefore having the capability of running a petrol, a diesel and an EV all through the same line at the same tack time now. And therefore that versatility in terms of doing what we need to have, whether an IS or an EC, uh, EV, the fungibility is phenomenal. So that was how we've looked at all these five aspects in order to create a game-changing product. And I'll now call upon Vivek to take you through the experience of how we're going to do, uh, do it with the customers. Thank you, thank you very much, Anand. So Martin spoke about the game-changing design, Anand spoke about the, you know, the engineering behind the new Nexon. But I'm here to talk about how a consumer is going to perceive it, how it's going to make a difference to them in you know, taking EV mobility to the next level. But before we go there, I would like to take a step back and acknowledge what the Nexon EV has done in terms of putting India on the EV mobility, personal mobility roadmap. It has ab absolutely created, uh, it's been the flag bearer of EV mobility. It has helped us completely overcome the myths and barriers that have been in consumers' minds over the last three years. It has traversed the length and breadth of the country, braved extreme weather conditions, braved our tough road conditions, monsoons, extreme heat. It's been there and done all that and moved all our 53,000 customers in safety, in comfort, in silence, and with a very low total cost of ownership over the last three years. We interact a lot with our customers, and what we have realized is, over the last few years, the expectations of EV customers are really changing. What we see, and you would have heard the word digitization and gadgetization a lot in both Anand's and Martin's presentation, EV customer behavior is dramatically moving towards consumers of tech products rather than traditional automotive products. 
they are be become increasingly demanding of a higher level of customer experience, higher level of engagement with the manufacturer even post-purchase. They are extremely vocal on forums, both positive and negative. They expect the manufacturer to hear them and make changes. And we have realized that unless we respond and keep these customers happy, it will not be, it will not be possible for us to grow this category. As a first step, a couple of days back, we created a new customer-facing brand identity for our EV business, and we called it Tata.EV. It is a first step for us to unify all the products and services of Tata Passenger Electric Mobility in the future, and all of them will come under the basket of Tata.EV, and we have adopted the philosophy of move with meaning, which is around sustainability, community, and democratizing technology. The brand design has got sustainability built into it. I'll give you a few examples. All our digital assets are going to be with a black background, which mimics the dark mode in mobile phones or gadgets, enabling lower power consumption every time our digital assets are used by consumers. Similarly, all offline creative will be with a white background, so that amount of ink used will be much lower. The kind of fonts we adopt will be free to access and very light in terms of bandwidth to download, again reducing the carbon footprint that goes into downloading these fonts. So overall, you will see that the kind of commitment we have and gradual movement towards a more sustainable planet is going to be immense as we go forward. I'll just give you a glimpse of the kind of promise we made us made to ourselves around the new brand identity. We now move to what's happened to the Nexon .ev, which is the new Nexon. And again, the word we've often used is digitization and gadgetization. And we'll see here what it means to the consumer. We've seen tech products adopting lighting signatures. Light signatures which give it distinct look, but also start communicating messages and alerts. And we've adopted the same with the Nexon .ev. We've used the end-to-end -end DRLs both at the front and the back, the digital X factor at the back give a variety of welcome messages, goodbye messages, even the charge indicator is available for customers to you know, easily understand how much of charging is completed and how much is left. And this provides, like Martin said, an unmistakable light signature for the next one on the road. Paddle shifters, Anand spoke about it, but from a consumer point of view, accessing the four level of region and also the adaptable single pedal driving through the paddle shifters gives a very gamified driving experience. You will experience it tomorrow and it's almost like a video game kind of an experience when you drive the EV with the paddle shifters. The gamified experience goes further even into the monostable shifter. It's got a joystick kind of control for you to change modes. We have two fast charging C-type USB uh, 
slots in the car, both at the front and the back, capable of even charging your laptops at very high speed. And this is going to ensure that all your gadgets are going to be always powered up and ready in the Nexon EV. Location sharing has become very, very common now, and it's a need of the hour. Um, we have multiple solutions for this in the Nexon.EV. First is what three words? We call it the last meter location sharing services, and it's as easy as just saying three words, and what three words is right there on the instrument cluster, and you can send it in a single touch. There's another option of location charging as well, uh, lo location sharing as well, through the Z-Connect app, where, again, on a single touch, you can send your current location and also share your live location directly to any mobile phone number listed in your contacts. So we have two options of live location sharing, easily accessible by just a single touch, which means great convenience for our customers. The current Z-Connect has also been updated to give a variety of alerts so that you're always up to date on what's happening in the car and certain other areas which you're kind of fed into the car uh, for information. Other aspects like wireless charging, automatic headlamps, rain sensing wipers, the electric IRVM continue, including electric park parking brake, continue in the Nexon.EV. The next level is about in-cabin experience. I mentioned earlier that our customers, the EV customers have become very demanding. And one of their key demands, and Martin spoke about it in depth, is the kind of luxurious upmarket experience they expect in the cars. So as a customer opens the door and walks into the Nexon.TV, this is what he sees, a very digitized experience. We call it a digital cockpit. The three screens working in unison to make them feel that they are in a completely di different digital world. Of course, the PSD resistor, as we say, is a 12.3-inch infotainment screen. Anand spoke about how the resolution is really high, the, the contrast levels and the latency, touch latency is going to be very high, and it houses all the, all the different apps that we'll talk about subsequently. The car, of course, comes with uh, Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, accessible over Wi-Fi, making it very convenient. And again, one of the big experience, uh, differences in experience for our customers is going to be the large TFT screen, which is the 10.25 inch TFT screen instrument cluster. It's going to give them a variety of information, very immersive kind of display. As you can see, uh, it can be customized. And this again is going to significantly digitize and gadgetize the kind of driving experience that the customer is going to exp you know, kind of avail of. We saw the digital control panel, again Martin spoke about it as the evolution towards digitization. And I'd like to highlight that a combination of physical and touch control uh, systems here is cleverly optimized to pre pre deliver the best level of convenience to customers. We're not compromised at all in terms of you know, voice assistance. All kind of customers are taken care of, whether you have an Android or an iPhone. Uh, we have Alexa as well here. And what's more, we have our own in-house you know, voice assistant, which is called Hey Tata. It offers you more than 200 voice uh, commands. And most importantly, six different Indian languages are recognized. And you can talk, to your, talk to and command, to, command the car in, in any of these languages. Infotainment has been one of the key focus areas, and I would say areas of pride for Tata Motors. Across our entire range, our cars offer infotainment experience which is a couple of segments above. Of course, we can't allow the Nexon.EV to be left behind. Anand spoke about the work with JBL that we have done with AudioWorks. Um, eight speakers plus a subwoofer belting out 320 watts of power. But what's more important is it's a highly customizable sound that you can create. So you can tune your audio for a wide stage audio performance or a cinematic experience. You can even tune the audio to deliver sound only to the front if you have kids sleeping at the back. Or you can tune into podcast mode and just listen to the voice alone speaking information that you want. Or for heavy metal lovers, you can put the bass enhancer and really enjoy deep thumping sound. So we believe that this is a highly customizable uh, kind of audio system delivering power at the same time very specific kind of output for depending on the needs. 
the seat bolstering, we spoke a lot about the interiors, but the next one, interiors have been bolstered with much more comfortable seats, offering ventilation both for the driver and the passenger, so that you can experience all this technology in almost five-star kind of comfort. Other popular features, including the electric sunroof, the substantial 350-liter boot space, rear AC vents, a chill glove box, as well as the rear armrest continue in the Nexon.tv. We next come, come to a certain disruptive features. Um, Anand spoke about it, uh, but I would like to elaborate it. Today, our customers are increasingly carrying their work into their cars. They expect cars to be an extension of their living rooms. And people spend more and more time in their cars thanks to the traffic jams that we have all around. And we give the time in the car, gives them an opportunity to customize the various aspects of the car. With the arcade.tv, which is the app suite, customers can download popular apps which makes their life much more comfortable and also extends entertainment and information into the car. So we have the opportunity of downloading OTT apps like Prime Video or YouTube or Hotstar and it can be watched when the car is being charged or when you're waiting for somebody. Similarly, podcasts can be downloaded, music apps can be downloaded and all this powered by the outstanding JBL system provides the entertainment package like none other. And accessing uh, arcade.tv is extremely easy as you can see in the video that I'll play shortly. You just go there, download the latest OTT app and you can watch the latest movies and make the car into a movie theater. So here we have Disney Hotstar being downloaded and you're ready to watch the latest blockbuster. There you go. Again, we spoke about vehicle to vehicle charging. Um, while this is a single feature which is going to substantially reduce range anxiety among customers, we obviously have a lot of Tata, car, Tata EVs on the road and the opportunity charging and the addition of the last few kilometers in terms of vehicle to vehicle charging is going to substantially reduce range anxiety among customers and this we believe is going to be a very very popular feature and well used feature in the future. Vehicle to load charging, the Nexon EV becomes a portable power bank and whether it is taking your kids on a picnic in, in the wilderness, in the, in the jungle or having a camp in the middle of the mountains becomes absolutely easy where you can access all your appliances and your gadgets with the Nexon powering you all the way. All the technologies that we spoke about can be updated through over the air and that adds a, another layer of convenience so that you can always be up to date with all your apps and your infotainment package. In terms of go to market, we have adopted a game changer approach. Um, you would have seen that we have adopted the persona approach, Martin spoke about it. And specifically, there's been a persona created for the electric vehicle range, um, which is the empowered persona. This is for the power user who wants the best of everything. And um, the empowered persona comes with a feature list which is really, really long. All the features we have spoken about is there in the empowered persona. We also have the fearless persona available for the Nexon.ev and the creative persona as well. This is a summary of all the features. You might want to take a picture. And the color approach also has changed now. We have a hero color for all the, if you want, I'll just go back. You can, I just, I know that's the most important slide. Thank you. So color approach also has changed where we have hero colors for each persona. So the creative comes with the creative ocean. It's a beautiful color, you'll see it. Fearless comes with a fearless purple 
and the empowered comes with a very very different premium tech oriented color called the empowered oxide bookings for the nexon.ev starts at 8 am on the world ev day which is the 9th of september day after tomorrow and the commercial launch is on the 14th of september customers can pay a booking amount of 21000 go online and book it from the 9th onwards or visit the nearest tata motor dealership with that it's now time to look at the product itself let's welcome the tata nexon.ev a new era of electric mobility has begun with a giant leap forward for design inside and out that means unprecedented cabin comfort and advanced features at your fingertips it means the power to act fast and a range that can take you further than ever before with innovations such as vehicle to vehicle charging and vehicle to low technology plus market leading safety including a 360 degree camera SOS calling and six airbags as standard and our exclusive app suite arcade.ev allowing a host of entertainment and productivity apps you can expect an experience like no other now it's time to take the next step it's time to lead the charge with the all new nexon.ev it changes the game .ev takes the spotlight requesting tata.ev leadership team to join us on the stage for the photo op please
enjoyed uh, the unveil of the Nexon.ev. We have the display of all the personas right uh, behind and in front of the stage. So please feel free to.